Chukula. We are now going to take a more serious look at naming acids and writing formulas. We'll probably spend a little more time on the naming part. Usually people find that a little tougher. When you're naming acids, you have to look at the formula. First of all, you've established an acid usually with an H at the front end. And what you have to do is decide, is it a binary acid? Does it just have hydrogen and a non-metal? Or does it have hydrogen and a complex ion? If it has hydrogen, just a non-metal, then it's binary. If it has hydrogen, a complex ion, it's not binary. So that's what it says here. If it's a binary acid, go to step two. If it's a complex ion, we're going to go to step three. It says our steps are to write hydro. Hydro represent the hydrogen. And then we take the non-metal and change its ending to ic acid. So here we see HBr. Okay, we've got to write hydro down. Then we have the Br, bromine becomes bromic acid, and it becomes hydrobromic acid. If you forget these things, you want to look at ones that you know quite well. There's something called HCl, and you probably know, oh, that's binary, hydrochloric acid. The same pattern. Now, let's look at ones with complex ion. If it's complex ion, that means you're going to need to have your table of complex ions handy. And you're going to be looking at things. Do they end in eight or do they end in eight? If it ends in eight, the ending becomes ic acid. And if it ends in eight, it becomes as us acid. And this has to do with something called oxidation states. Again, something we tackle in chemistry 12. So right now you're just grabbing the ic and the us from whether it's an eight or an eight. So we're speaking a very strange language here. But let's do a couple of simple examples. HNO3, so I go on here and I look for NO3. And I say, where are you, NO3? And there's NO3 and it's nitrate. And the one below is nitrite. They have different amounts of oxygen in them. So I look at NO3, it said nitrate, eight becomes ic, so it ends ic acid and the nitrogen becomes nitric acid. If you're in England, they say nitric acid for whatever reason. On the other hand, this one, NO2, HNO2, has the nitrite ion, it becomes us, so that becomes nitrous acid. Notice no hydro. You never put a hydro when you have a complex ion. Writing formulas, you look at the name. You're undoing what you did. If you see hydro, you know it's binary. And that just means you're going to put hydrogen in. You're going to look at the non-metal and you're going to balance out the charge. And so if you had something like, uh, if you had hydrofluoric acid, F is one minus, so we just need one H for it. If we had H2S, we're going to have to call it hydrosulfuric acid. And we're going to need two hydrogens to go with the one S. So those are a couple of examples we've done very quickly here. Hydrofluoric acid, both of these are binary. F is one minus, so we only put in one H. S is two minus, so we had to put in two H's to kill the charge. Now, if we have something that's a complex ion, we know that because it won't have hydro at the start of its name. So if we have chloric acid, we go chloric, and we say, where are you, chloric? It's got to be from chlorate. Here's chlorate right here. So ClO3, notice it's 1 minus. So ClO3, 1 minus, we just have to put a single H in front. Phosphoric acid, we have PO4. Oh, it's a 3 minus from the phosphate. We could look that up on the chart. And since PO4 is 3 minus, we have to put three hydrogens in to kill the, ch kill the charge. We're balancing it out. If we have us acid, so here it says chlorous acid, that's going to be based on the chlorite. So somewhere here, there's chlorate, there's our chlorite. Again, it's going to be one minus. So it's going to only require one H to balance out the charge. So like I've said, in many ways, I think you'll find it easier to go from a name to a formula. The next PowerPoint actually will have examples of how to tackle it. And it's just basically, some of these examples will overlap. But this is just a handy thing to be able to do, to recognize the name of acid, how to get to a formula, if you're grabbing a bottle off the shelf, making sure you get the right stuff. 
So next, next video is a crazy PowerPoint.